Now, if you want some really nice threads, this is the place to come, Savile Row, and in particular, Henry Poole & Co. And they invented a very special suit for a very special person. So I understand this is the place where a tuxedo was invented. Well, yes, the evening suit. The Prince of Wales had just bought Sandringham, and the whole idea was to have something that was a little bit less formal. So we came to see Henry Poole, who, in theory, cut the tails off a white tie tail suit. So hence, we ended up making something a little bit similar to this. It was a sort of smoking jacket style. Uh, we did it in a midnight blue satin silk with matching trousers, and that's really how the evening suit began, and it sort of morphed more into the one which you normally get today. How did it get the name Tuxedo, then? Well, Prince of Wales had an American gentleman come to visit, James Potter, and knowing that he was off to see the Prince of Wales, he came in to see Henry Paul. And Henry said, we've only just made him this, so let me make one for you as well. And he liked it so much that when he went back to New York, he happened to be a member of the Tuxedo Club just outside of New York. So they adopted it as their sort of informal attire, and that's how it became known as the tuxedo in the States. I prefer dinner jacket, don't you? What do you call it? An evening suit. An evening suit, oh, very nice. It's a Privy Council uniform that we used to make between about 1846 and 1947. We did quote someone not too long ago uh, for a new one at about 32,000. You know, I've just lost my wallet. This is, such a, this, is, this is a real dashed nuisance. Well, thanks very much. That was very, very kind of you. Uh, what do you think of my dress today? The well, state of my bowler hat? It, it's a clip. <laughs> I definitely feel decidedly scruffy after that experience. I think I need a new hat. Second take. <laughs> um, one take jewelry, that's my name.